Hello friends, welcome to engineering tutorial. So we'll continue our discussion related to sensors and transducers and we'll extend our discussion on level measurement. And uh, previously we discussed level measurement using magnetostrictive transducer. In this video we are going to discuss the same but using piezoelectric sensor. So we have uh, discussed about piezoelectric uh, you know, uh, sensing uh, technique. Just in a quick way, we'll go through it. Piezoelectric sensors, they are based on the principle of piezoelectric effect. It is a phenomena in which when a piezoelectric material is subjected to external force or pressure, as a result of that, an electric potential is generated across its two ends. So with the use of proper electrodes, we can uh, you can, we can capture that electric potential and then use it for any purposes through proper signal conditioning and transduction techniques. Now, uh, the choice of piezoelectric materials. There are two types, natural and synthetic. Uh, the natural ones are quartz, tourmaline, etc. Uh, in most of the cases, you will find quartz crystal is used uh, for uh, piezoelectric uh, sensors and the synthetic ones uh, the common choices are rochel salt uh, lithium sulfate dipotassium tartrate okay so this is the piezoelectric effect generation of electric potential across the ends of the crystal the ends of the crystal when force or pressure is applied on it there is another thing also which is the inverse piezoelectric effect which is the opposite that when electric potential is applied across the two ends the crystal undergoes deformation vibration it is used for various uh, alarm devices but that is not required here now the mathematical relationship between the electric potential output across the electrodes and the input force or pressure that is given by this E, which is the electric potential output that is equal to GTP where G is the voltage sensitivity of the sensor T is the thickness of the crystal and P is the pressure applied pressure which is equal to force by area where A is the area of the crystal surface and this is the whole design of the piezoelectric uh, transducer so we have uh, the whole uh, casing inside of which we have the piezoelectric crystal and then we have a seismic mass attached to it for safety purposes and then over that we have the impact point where the force or pressure is applied okay this is the point where the force or pressure is applied this channelized through the seismic mass to the piezoelectric crystal and then we have the two electrodes across the ends of which the electric potential is generated. Okay, it is then captured and sent to proper signal conditioning circuitry and then it is given to uh, suitable analog to digital conversion devices to give us a proper uh, digital output. Now how we can use it for uh, level measurement? So the basic principle is that we have a container okay we have a container we have liquid at a certain level in it then to sense the liquid level what we do is we place a float a floating material and along with that we attach a rod with uh, you know this kind of design so that when it moves up and down these ends they strike the impact point of the piezoelectric sensor this this impact point okay this impact point so when it does when it strikes the impact point of the piezoelectric sensor these sensors are triggered and they give us a proper voltage output they give us a signal that the float is currently at this position and that gives us information about the liquid level so here for that the the here uh, for diagrammatic purposes i have uh, you know taken this uh, 
float the rod of which is a uh, very long but generally it is of negligible length so uh, the position where the piezoelectric sensor is triggered that gives us the level of the liquid and if it, the length is long as compared to the level of the liquid then that is subtracted from it okay this is the thing this is a single sensor arrangement where it gives only it, it detects only at one point which is uh, in most of the cases we have uh, any any purposes where we would don't want the liquid level to cross below a certain danger mark or uh, you know uh, a certain level so when it goes above or it goes below that level an alarm is generated it is that purpose and then we have a uh, continuous level tracking where we have a series of piezoelectric sensors which are connected so that gives us the level at all these points okay this point this point like that continuous level tracking here i have only mentioned three sensors it can be 5 it can be 10 it can be 15 it can be 20 depending upon the height of the container in which the liquid is you know is there and all these uh, piezo sensors, they are placed at fixed separation gaps with respect to each other. For example, let's say we consider this as the reference level at 0 meter, then y equals to, let's say, 5 meter. This can be at y equals to 10 meter, like that. It goes on and on and on, and that gives us the level of the liquid. And uh, this is the basic principle as I said this is the rod this is the impact point of the piezo sensor when the rod goes up and down it strikes this impact point and when it strikes the impact point the whole force of pressure is channelized through the seismic mass to the piezoelectric crystal and when the crystal is stressed it gives us an electric potential as per piezoelectric effect Okay, so this is the whole thing. So uh, there are certain advantages of piezoelectric sensors. The accuracy level is good. Uh, the sensitivity is also great. It can detect very small changes in force and pressure variations. It is of small size. The frequency response is good. And the output level after proper signal conditioning, it is also uh, good so that we can detect it through proper signal conditioning circuitry and we can show it in a digital output. This advantage is that the piezoelectric crystals are very fragile. That's why we have this whole encapsulation casing and the seismic mass to shield it from excessive force or pressure. Then the cost of piezoelectric crystals and the fabrication of the sensor, the design of the sensor that is very high and it is also sensitive to changes in the surrounding temperature so the temperature effects also come into play which can pr produce unnecessary noise and distortion signals so these are the disadvantages but overall it's a good choice and uh, if we take care of the cost and uh, make certain arrangements to control the temperature of the surroundings it's a good choice so this is the basic principle of use of piezoelectric sensors for detection of level of liquid in a container. Okay. So let us try to understand this from a three-dimensional perspective. So here we have is the liquid in the container. We have a float and a rod arrangement. So the float it uh, as, uh, as the name suggests it floats over the liquid surface and when the level of the liquid it changes the float along with the rod and this whole arrangement it goes up and down and when these ends of the rod with this design they strike the uh, piezoelectric sensor they get triggered and they generate an electrical signal when they are stressed as per piezoelectric effect. This is the single sensor arrangement where when the liquid goes above or below a certain 
level which is the danger level or whatever the limiting level it it creates an alert or alarm signal another way uh, here the same thing is uh, in a in a side view kind of a thing when this uh, rod and the float it goes up and down along with the liquid it moves when it strikes this uh, piezo sensor it gets triggered okay this is single sensor arrangement then we have is a series of piezo sensors where we have let's say this kind of arrangement where the piezo sensors are connected at fixed separation gaps away from each other so when the liquid level increases or decreases and it strikes the impact point this rod it strikes the impact point of the piezo sensors they get triggered and generate an electrical signal and as i said these piezo sensors are connected at fixed separation gaps with respect to each other and uh, whenever a particular sensor is triggered that gives us the instantaneous position of the liquid level okay so this is all about liquid level measurement using piezoelectric sensor so i hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to engineering science and technology have a great day thank you very much